This is it, the last step. Let's draw the player's score, and we'll have a pretty complete game. As you've guessed, this will go in the draw call, so go there now. Scroll down just past the enemy draw loop. After the enemy draw loop, add a couple of new lines, and then the following. Sprite batch dot draw string open parenthesis font comma quotation mark capital score colon space, quotation, plus, score, dot, to string, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, comma, new, vector 2, open parenthesis, score, draw, point, dot x, times viewport rect dot width comma score draw point dot y times viewport rect dot height close parenthesis, comma, color, dot yellow, close parenthesis. There's quite a bit of code here. Let's take a look. First, the method that we use to draw text, draw string, belongs to the sprite batch class. The first argument is font, which is our sprite font object. The second argument is the string, the text we want to draw. We do a bit of string construction here, starting with some text in quotes. Text in quotes is called a string literal. Whatever's in the quotes goes in the string. So it's score colon and a space. Then the plus sign indicates there should be something else added on to the end of the string and it's our score variable, or rather, the result of the score variables to string method, which turns any type into a string representation of itself. For an integer, it just takes a string out of the number. So for score, it might be a string that's just 1, or 2, or 10, depending on the score. So the finished string will say something like score colon space 10. The third argument is a vector 2 that indicates where on the screen to draw the text in x and y coordinates. We construct these coordinates using the score draw point vector multiplied by the width and height of the screen. If you recall the score draw point vector, the value was 0.1 multiplied by screen width and height. That will get you a position one-tenth away from the top left corner of the screen, so that's where our score will draw. The final argument is a tint color. Unlike all of our other draws, this time we do want to use a tinting color. We'll use color.yellow to give the text a yellow color. That's it. We're ready for the final test. Build and run. Right green arrow or F5. Xbox users, be on your connect to computer screen. Let's see how this game turned out. Awesome, we've got it all. Graphics, input, collision, score, text drawing. Well, there's always more to add, of course, but it's a great start and we've covered a lot. Congratulations on creating your first game with XNA Game Studio. Where to go from here? When you're ready for the next challenge, the next tutorial will teach you how to take this game idea into 3D. In addition, you've got a wealth of resources at the XNA Creators Club online website at creators.xna.com.
From samples to technical articles, right up to whole game starter kits, you've got everything you need to take your game to the next level. Build on to this game. Add your own goals, challenges, abilities. Make this game truly yours. When you're ready to submit your game to the community, you can sign up for a premium membership in the XNA Creators Club and submit your Xbox 360 game to Xbox Live Marketplace for others to download and play. Congratulations on completing the 2D tutorial. From here, it's time to branch out and explore. You have the power to dream, build, and play anything with XNA Game Studio and the XNA Creators Club at creators.xna.com.